you have to fit the bill when you're portraying something. And I think makeup is one of the key puzzle pieces to making everything fall into place. You have makeup, you have the costume, and then you have you as the actress. If you don't have any of those key ingredients, then it'll fall to the wayside. So makeup is a very important key to contributing to a story. I always loved my bare face, but I also feel like makeup is a way for you to express yourself in ways that you can't when you're just like walking around your house and you know, anything. So I always felt beautiful, but I just felt like makeup was a larger extension of my personality. I was always a person who was into just artistic things. So like when I picked up a, a makeup brush, it was like my paint brush to my canvas. Ever since I was young, I've always had a specific level of confidence. And ever since I was seven, I knew I was a girl. So that was out of my mind. Anyone who tried to say different, I was like, ha, <laughs> wait until I get to a certain age. You really gonna find out then. As I got older and I started like really exploring just like me, as any human being would, I just was like, this makes me even more confident in myself. I don't have to worry about shit, what anybody has to say about me. I'm gonna live to the fullest for me. I was seven years old and my dad saw me praying on the dashboard of his orange Acura. I was like, God, you know, please make me a girl. Make me a girl. And I remember him turning over to me and saying, what are you praying about? And I think he knew what I was praying about because I always expressed it. I had long hair, you know, like it was there. I think him and my mother always saw it, but I never really told my mom or dad, like I was a girl. I just expected them to see it and know it. Having a mom that's like that is embracing and that's, you know, very aware as well as accepting of me, it's kind of beautiful. Not a lot of kids out here get that opportunity to do that for them to express themselves through anything, whether it be through arts, whether it be through driving a car, whether it be through getting tattoos and making themselves look like an artistic figure in the world for them. You don't have a lot of parents who accept some of those simple things. So like when you do have a parent that accepts the simple fact that you are a woman and you're expressing it through the art of makeup, it's kind of a blessing in disguise. I think that is imperative. I think that it's important that our stories are getting told. I think uh, it's great that black narratives are being told because not a lot of those are told. And I feel like it just needs to keep happening. We need to express more stories, especially of black trans women, because there is such a stigma held over our heads as far as what we should be, what we're supposed to be, when there's a total different story from what people have created in their head. A lot of us have been striving at this for a long time. Sadly, we've been receiving a lot of no's, but everyone receives a lot of no's when you, you know, audition for anything. But being that it's my first time finally solidifying a lead role on a TV show and being able to be a voice and have the responsibility, it's wonderful. I think the TV show is groundbreaking and I'm not saying that just because I'm on it. I'm saying it because I've watched it. Like I watched it from episode one to eight and I've seen how much change it has created thus far. I am Blanca Evangelista. I am Michaela. I am MJ Rodriguez.